Alright guys, so I figured it out. We're not building anything since the last episode because we're out of stone entirely. What's up guys? Uh, yeah, so uh, I accidentally told my mason to turn all our stone into these darn stone bricks uh, for experience. But yeah, this is like, you can't, you can't really use this for anything right now. So, uh, so we can't build our walls, we can't build anything. So, I mean, simple solution. We're gonna go ahead and uh, expand the mines and see what's really in the in the heart of this mountain today, uh, and also uh, I guess do a little more exploration around the place as well. And and I also just discovered this new loot tool right here. It's not new. It's just I just noticed it, and uh, it's just steal items from another player. Never realized what it did, but uh, all it does is just like you select stuff and people will I guess loot it and bring it back. And there's a monster right over here. What the heck is this guy? Who is this? Let's Worm Skull. I want, I want his hammer. These people have no idea. Mr. Worm Skull, and I think there's another guy inside of him. Okay, good, we have the Wrecking Crew. Look at, look at, look at the frog legs. I can't believe I ever doubted her. What the heck? Oh crap, is she gonna die? Nah, she's good. She's good, look at her go. And now, now we got Corvette on the scene. Bada boom, smoking these guys with their new weapons. Oh, that's right, they just reminded me. I wanna, I wanna get some, uh, some bronze. Some bronze armor. Bada boom, look at me, look at me use the tools, I'm ah, so smart. Okay, so you guys, you guys get back to normal business here. Uh, let's see here, yeah, back to normal business. And let's see what we can make on the forge. What the heck is everyone doing around here now? Alright, so they are just grabbing all these little <laughs> things I accidentally selected. And they're moving them into, uh, into the pile here, I, 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 I guess so. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Alright, cool, well let's get some armor going here. And, uh, in a quick fashion, yes, that's right, so four bronze, one leather, we have like a billion of all this stuff, look at all this bronze we have here, it's everywhere, it's everywhere, we should have, oh crap, oh, but we have tin right here, okay, so I'm gonna make up some armor, oh my gosh, guys, we just made it to get a new settler, <laughs> I thought we weren't gonna do it, but we did it, uh, it is morning, and, uh, yes, we, it must have been all this mining that we've been doing here, this, this is great, making tons of money, who is joining Budlandia, who is this, who is this character, let's see, oh, this guy, he doesn't look too smart. What's what's his stats? All right, let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, Framer. Oh, good. He's got a mind of him too. Okay, so he's a little bit cowardly. Not very strong, but he's got a good mind about him. Uh, I think for now, we're definitely gonna use him as a worker for now. I think. Uh, because let's take a look at the tree here. What we got? What, we, what do we need? We have uh, we have a trapper. We really don't need a shepherd because we're not doing too much with wool since we're not in like a cold climate. Uh, what's this here? Yeah, Mason, we have pretty much everything that we need for now. Uh, so we're gonna leave him as a worker, and yes, if we need some additional help somewhere else, we, uh, we'll go ahead and do that, but yes, so we good for now. And, uh, I'm gonna get a name for this character here. And Gareth Framer is now... Walrus. Walrus. Come on, face the camera, man. Walrus the man. There he is. <laughs> These... What, what are you doing? Oh, he's picking stuff up and putting it right back down. Good, good first lesson. In, uh, in diligence. Good man, good man. Okay, so, uh, but yes, we are gonna continue digging here. Probably gonna need a ladder to get these people out of here. Uh, but I guess this 4x4, uh, digging block style is pretty much the easiest. So we're just gonna roll with that for now. And then eventually we'll build this stone wall. <laughs> oh, it's so sad, it's so terrible. Is it even still there? Yeah, it's still there. It, the, the dream is there. The dream is there. It's just, you know, we, we're gonna get a ton of stone. In a little bit. And look at how fast we're just progressing now. Okay, so we have 8 tin ingots and 20 copper. Where did that even come? Oh, I think we might have looted an extra copper from somewhere. But okay, let's let's go ahead and throw uh, two of these armor suits together. This is such a glorious day. I mean, like, this is just basic armor. But uh, at least we have it working now. It's in the works. We have uh, some makeshift ladders down here. Although, I want to make this somewhat elaborate, actually. I'm kind of liking this whole digging down deep thing. I wonder when exactly we're gonna start hitting, uh, dirt. Uh, oh, the heck with you, trader. I don't care. Yeah, it seems like stone all the way down. Right? Until, until you get through like, oh, this is amazing. It goes this deep. Oh, that's deep. That goes really deep. Oh my gosh. Alright, cool. Well, let's, um, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's do that whole thing. Get like a bunch of lights in here. I don't know. I mean, like, I do want to build, well, I mean, we need to do this anyway. It's our main source of stone. And all that stone is gonna go right on over here. Uh, I guess we'll take shifts of digging and then shifts of building with our, our miners slash builders uh, for now. But yeah, so how's how's this house doing right here anyway? How's how's this? Oh my gosh, it's packed. There's people eating on all the tables that we've built here. That's right. I keep forgetting we keep getting more and more settlers, and I'm just like not making more beds, but and or more accommodations. But luckily we have benches where people can eat. I might throw a couple more benches down. Uh, this bird bath. 
tranquil. All right, and we have gotten our stone, and uh, and everyone was kind of standing around up here with, uh, with, with just like not knowing what to do. So I went ahead and uh, and I went back to these walls, and I just clicked on them again like this, told them to build. Uh, so I just I just had to issue the command a second time, and then they were going, and then uh, I guess that's all he needed. <laughs> so now they're going ahead and building the walls. Finally, thank goodness gracious. Getting this thing underway. It's been like what, like a bunch of days now. But at least they've cleaned out this whole area here. Everything's looking good. We got lights. No one, nothing, no monsters are spawning. This is good. Uh, a good place for us to expand our operations. Uh, poor Ridmark. He has nothing to do. Cause I don't know. Let's let's maybe give him something to do. I mean, like I could use some of these uh, brazers now that we do have stone. Although you know what? We, what we really need to do is start building our city. Honestly, because I was looking at our last report. Uh, for what we need in the town, and, uh, yeah, yes, pretty much we need more net worth, and, uh, yeah, food just comes over time, but, yeah, just more net worth, and that just comes from building buildings, and just, like, increasing, uh, property value, essentially, so that's what we're gonna do here, get some buildings going here, finally, and, uh, and expanding this place, giving everyone a place to work and to live, uh, other than this, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what is this, Budkai Travel Center, <laughs> Yeah, so that seems to be the case. Every once in a while, you have to refresh commands. Uh, I, I found that leaving things set to be, uh, you know, like like leaving the, the parameter where it's like maintain this many in a stockpile doesn't always uh, apply. So I just got rid of all that stuff. And now I just tell people to make what I want them to make. Uh, so we finally got some threads going so we can get our, uh, uh, I guess, bronze armor together. The same thing with uh, Xavier here. He's going ahead and making some comfy beds. I'm just telling him to go ahead and make them. And, uh, and there he goes. He's just doing he's doing that whole thing. So now we're going to get some comfy beds for our new buildings. I might just replace them here now. Uh, it's funny because he took one of the beds out of the inn. He didn't take the uh, beds in the pile, but whatever. All right, so, so that one should hopefully go there. We'll get the comfy ones and some new buildings here. And look, look, look at this. The wall is actually going up. Let me get rid of this crazy thing. Uh, yeah, the wall is actually going up. Amazing. What is it going to do? Absolutely nothing. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's going up, and that's all that matters. Uh, and what is going on over here? I think I told uh, Ridmark to build some stuff as well. What's he What's he doing? Oh, no, actually, that, that's right. I didn't. But it would be cool to have two of these. Let's go ahead and tell him to craft two of these right now for four stone. Do it. And we'll put those, like, right at the uh, front of our entrance here, all, like, intimidating. Like, we'll have, what the heck? Ladder in the water. Yeah, you, you best forget about that. No drowning on my watch. Oh, and he's looking so good. Look at Corvette. He just put a Corvette. Uh, Corvette? Crap. Oh, yeah, Corvette. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. Yeah, so uh, he just put on his new bronze armor. Uh, they are the same defense, but the uh, description for the leather armor says good against light weapons. And the description for uh, the bronze armor says... Good against sharp and blunt weapons. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like they say, they say they have the same defense, but whatever. It looks cooler. It looks way cooler. Uh, if we compare him to Frog Legs, where is Frog? Oh gosh, <laughs> Frog Legs, where are you? It's like a bustling city around here, man. Nowadays, this is crazy. Look at this guy running around. Is that Walrus? Walrus, is that you? No, I think Walrus is blonde. Where the heck? What? Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, so he looks totally, totally like a like a boss. And, uh, and that's, that's the way she's going to look real soon, too. And the nighttime is coming. I love nighttime in this game. It's like my favorite time. Um, is this thing going along, or did they, did they kind of forget? She might be uh, taking a nap. Uh, wow. All right. And it appears to be that Captain Corbett is on is uh, ready for duty <laughs> this fine night. Uh, look at him go with his, with his uh, new armor now. He's just ready to test the whole thing out. Uh, let's see how he's doing here with his hits. He's getting hit. Oh my goodness, he leveled up, and wow, look at this guy go. Where the heck is uh, Frog Legs at? Who knows? Actually, he is... This is taking quite... Oh, that was a new attack! Oh, he did his new attack! Oh, that was awesome. Oh, look at all this cool stuff we got, too. Hey, it's not, it ain't bad. It ain't bad. That was a really great attack, so I think that's called the uh, overhead... Uh, <laughs> like, quite literally, the overhead attack. Uh, where is this at? What kind of damage does it do? This is powerful overhead swing deals double damage. Heck yeah, that's what I like. All right, so he's a total uh, maniac now. And uh, so will Frog Legs. Wait, did she get her armor on as well? No, the bronze bronze breastplate's right here. So I guess she's going to come on over after she's done snoozing and throw it on as well. Yeah. And congratulations, Frog Legs. You are now a maniac as well. And just look at how mean our front gates is looking right now. Look at this piece of stone. Get out of here. Get out of here, hunk of stone. But yes, we have our brazers up here burning away. Oh, it provides a warm and cozy fire at night. You better believe it. And uh, yes, and we're building the road here. Let's see what this road... It's going to look kind of like this. I did a little checkered pattern. Uh, so the only thing I did was go to this, 
clicked on that, and then just kind of laid down the road. I was like, here, there's the road, and bada boom, it's done. These guys are working all through the night. Oh gosh, I tell you what, Snooki scares me every time I see her running out there. Uh, always think she's some kind of enemy. But luckily, we're not getting attacked too badly by guys right now. Although, I, I, do, I, I mean, like, definitely the game's gonna ramp up as you gain more value, more settlers, and more food, all that stuff. We're gonna have bigger enemies, so we really gotta start, uh, getting ready for, uh, for these more serious assaults. Even though I'm feeling pretty comfortable right now. Uh, I don't know. Do, do enemies go through water? I feel like they might actually go through water. Maybe not. I'm hoping they don't. If you guys know, just let me know. <laughs> it might have been something I overlooked, but, um... Okay, we can just build a wall around that water, too, if we have to. Uh, yeah, alright. So, okay. Um, what now? Seems like everyone's equipped, everyone's got their stuff, making some steel bars with the extra stuff we have. I guess it's time to go full-on mining, as we, uh, well, not quite yet. We still have some stone we can use up for some buildings, so let's see. And we got plenty of wood over here as well. Alright, let's start making our first buildings right around here. This will be the blacksmith's corner right here. This is just the way I saw it right when you enter town. You'll see like some of the shops. I want a blacksmith here, maybe a stonemason on this little spot here. We'll see. Yeah, something like that. Oh, this road's looking really cool. And nighttime is coming. Quickly get all the comfy beds down. Yeah, I've actually decided <laughs> to go ahead and put down uh, all these comfy beds here uh, before we get started on the blacksmith's shop. There we go. Okay, so now so now this place is officially finished, in my opinion. Uh, it's just a basic, yes, travel center, slash inn, slash welcome center. Uh, yes, there we go, tourism. Alright, so that's pretty much done now. Now we're gonna get started on the uh, blacksmithing thing. Um, how's all the steel and iron coming along here? Alright, so, so we got some steel slabs, iron. There we go, we got some steel ingots. Ran out of coal, that's cool though, but we're, we're slowly processing down all this stuff. Uh, actually, yeah, we, uh, we processed down, uh, processed down a lot. I guess we could do a few more tins, although I don't think we need anything in terms of, like, tin or, uh, or bronze anymore, because we have, like, you know, all we need now is just, like, steel for, like, this higher, uh, tier stuff. And I do want steel for, uh, full plate mail. Next, I'm just gonna skip the iron. Let's go str straight to, uh, full plate. And then we need steel for, uh, this trusty shield. That's gonna be awesome. So really, yeah, I don't really care about the rest of this other stuff. Just, all we need now is just iron to make steel and tons of coal. So, alright. Uh, already jump. Oh. And someone just leveled up or something. Oh, that's cute. Oh, so who's hanging out by the fire? Red Mark and... Oh, is that Walrus? Haha! <laughs> New guys are talking. They're being buds. And all they kind of feel like outcasts because everyone's just like knows, knows each other already. They're like, what's up, man? Yeah, I know. I know bashing those stones is tough sometimes. Alright. Yeah, so blacksmith, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so here goes my try at a custom blacksmith. I'm just kind of putting blocks up and around here. I kind of imagine this place to be somewhat outdoors. Uh, but, okay, but I, I do want like a little bit of a roof around his working area. See, so it's kind of like you enter the city like this. Get this nice little like uh, stone floor here. Uh, some like little walls here. I guess he might put some of his uh, uh, shop tools up against or something. And then like maybe like uh, like a little bit of a roof right here, like a little bit of an awning kind of deal, and uh, I just, I wonder if the uh, NPCs in the game, or I mean like if you guys <laughs> are going to be able to build this thing, uh, I guess we'll find out uh, if, if you guys will build your ladders and build it, or if it's going to be some kind of catastrophe, we'll see, but I think something like that is alright for now, <laughs> oh you know what, maybe, maybe just a little more, add a little more onto this roof, kind of like that. And, and I mean, like, obviously this has no, no real purpose, just, just for styling, but I think this is gonna be good. Something like this. I wonder what the, uh, what the, uh oh, whoops. Oh, I think we just undo, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> this just doesn't undo, like, everything. Uh, alright, so let's see what is the total cost of this crazy contraption here. Um, oh gosh, how do we finish? Yeah, I'm, I'm finished, right? Uh oh. Building tools? Okay, so we are finished editing. I just had to, like, uh, right-click. It was easy. So, finished editing. Uh, only five stone to build this whole thing. That's, uh, well, I guess it's a good deal, because this isn't really much of anything. So, alright. Uh, five stone it is. Build it. Yeah, start building. Oh, crap, that's not good. Uh, close permanently. I don't want to see that. Alright, and, uh, hopefully it's gonna start, um, building away. They might have an issue, yeah, building that, that custom roof. If they do, I might have to, uh scrap it and do some other uh, strange thing with this or not strange thing but like just a typical kind of building like like uh, our travel lodge everybody loves these beds oh what what do you yeah that's right oh Bryant oh gosh party animal of course he's the last one to go to bed of course and the little squirrels jumping or pet fox 
jumping around Snooky. That is the cutest. Look at that. And everyone is sleeping all at once. This never happens. Usually people take like shifts or they're like, I can't stand sleeping on these uncomfortable beds. And they like sleep for like an hour and then they just get, they're like, let's just go back to work. <laughs> but they're like sleeping all night. Oh yeah, look at them. They're going to be all chipper. Wait a second. That's right. I think there's an attack coming too. Yes, that's right. Crap. All right. Oh boy. These guys, oh, these skeletons are pretty tough. Snooky, run for it. What's, what's going to happen to her? Let's get our uh, knife men out here as well. Almost totally forgot about this. Let's get ourselves... Oh, gosh, they're going towards Snooky, but she should run away. Like a good girl, because her spirit's like two. Look at these guys. They're hungry for some blood. That's right. They're not going to get her. Yeah, she's super fast, too. She's got her bonuses to moving and all that, since she is a uh, hunter. Where is that celebrating music coming from? Yeah, 121. Where's that? What happens? I don't know. But okay, so we're ready to take on these guys here. Oh, my goodness. With our new bronze armor... Um, yep, saving. Okay, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait for, uh, wait for friends. This is actually gonna be a really tough fight. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> Frog Legs is going right in. She don't care. Let's keep, uh, very close track of her life here. So we might have to retreat. I gotta stay alert, stay ready. Oh, she's getting smacked up, but, oh my gosh, that power attack that, uh, that Cor uh, Corvette has is really good. Oh my gosh! He just, oh my goodness, that was good. Oh, that was real good. Oh, we could take on anything. Well, we'll see. I want to get those steel shields, too, sometime really soon. We'll see. Uh, so it seems to me that everyone's like, Bud Kai, you can go uh, build your own crazy blacksmith. We're not doing it. <laughs> okay, so I guess that error message uh, had something to do. Uh, was, was uh, yeah, actually, you know, like, meant stuff. Yeah, so, uh, all right. Um, so, Xavier, everyone, uh, our, our workers, our builders slash miners, they're not building this thing. Gonna have to scrap it. Not like it was that pretty of a thing. Oh, Rune, you're gonna build it, yeah? Yeah, you're gonna build it? No, of course not. Of course not. All right. So, uh, yes, back to the drawing board. Uh, click on this thing, say, remove this creature. This building. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna make something a little more normal. What is the update? Well, how come we don't have to... Ooh. Who would have thought we actually have wealth? I would have never thought. So what, we're low on food? You gotta be kidding me. We got, we got like, squirrel jerky everywhere out here. Come on, the guys just gotta go... Go get out here and, and, and get it. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. Alright, so let's get this looting. My favorite thing that I just figured out. Loot this whole place up. What? There's just one squirrel pelt? Is that it? Wow, really? Look at all these prisoners. And alright, so now we have everyone building this blacksmithing thing. Um, I really didn't want a normal house for his place. I just wanted something that's just like, you know, like weird. So as soon as I took out that little, uh, very strange roof I built, uh, this thing, this thing works fine now. There's no, there's no errors with it. So, alright, so we're gonna let these people build this thing on up. They're gonna dig it out, uh, place down the stone. It's gonna be cool. Just nice and casual, like, you know, a friendly place. Stop by to your local blacksmith shop to hang out and, uh, and, uh, like, chat and talk and, and get your, uh, shoes made or something. So, yeah, so there we go. That's in the works. And, yeah, alright. And we still, he's getting a ton, ton of food surplus here. Not sure why our food supply is low. But at least our value is up. We should be getting a new member soon. And I guess once all our workers are done building this blacksmith and maybe building the stonemason over here, I think by then we'll be out of stones. Uh, how many stones we got now? Actually, why is the shelter down? We just built comfy beds in there and it's going down. That's weird. But okay, anyway. Uh, how many stones we got? Yeah, it's almost going to be time. After we get the stonemason next episode, it's going to be time to start mining for real. Getting tons of iron and coal. And just getting everyone armored up with uh, some steel. Uh, that's gonna be real fun. <laughs> just long swords for everyone when the day uh, when the day comes. And no goblin encampments anywhere nearby. Hello, cutie. <laughs> yeah, nothing nothing else nearby. All right, so times are good. Uh, progress is being made. And yeah. Nothing too uh, crazy going on. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. We're going to continue expanding the city. Finally, we're getting started on it for real now. Uh, cool, so I'll see you guys next time.